Kids, welcome. Thank you. We need... One kilo of rice and one liter of cooking oil. Baraka, why are you interrupting your brother? Mom sent us together. Together? Shh. Continue, Koba. What are you sent for? What Baraka said, actually. Here you go, Koba. Take your stuff. Why are you raising your hand, Baraka? I wasn't giving it to you. Let your brother carry it. You are too young. You will drop it. But you've never given me the chance to carry a bag. How do you know that I'll drop it? Mamandega says you can't see the stars if you keep looking down. You'll never know what I'm capable of if you keep looking down on me all the time. You are very, very stubborn, Baraka. Koba, take your stuff and live with your brother, please. Attention, attention, attention. There will be a quiz contest for kids. The winners will get medals. Register your three-person team now. Medals are waiting for you. Koba, isn't this the contest you attention, entered and attention. won when I traveled last year? What if you do it again? I mean, with me this time, and maybe we can add Kibena or Kiduchu in our team. I really want to win the medal. Winners will get medals. Register now with a three-person team. Remember, previous winners are not allowed to participate again. Ah! What kind of a rule is that? We need to get home now, Baraka. Speed up. People look down on me. They think I can't do things like Koba. Koba won a medal in a quiz contest. What if I win that medal too? <laughs> if I win that medal, people will stop looking down on me. Baraka, let's go. Coming. Oh, Baraka, Tabasamu, come in. Ah, I'm so glad you're here. I was all alone and super bored. Now we can play. Nina, we need to stop playing games all the time because people will continue to see us as just little kids and look down on us. Look down on us? Who looks down on us, Baraka? Ah, listen. We came to tell you that there is a quiz contest and winners will get medals. But to participate, each team has to have three members. I told Tabasamo about teaming up and she said yes. So we're here to ask you, would you like to join our team? Quiz! I like quizzes. That means you're in, right? Yes. They say we can register through the internet. Here. Take this brochure. All instructions on how to register are on it. Oh, okay. Come in then, so we can register. Great! Done! We're officially in the contest. Let's put the medals in our pockets. Bye guys, I'm going home. See you on the contest day. What do you mean? See you on the contest day? You mean we don't practice before that? Why should we practice, Nina? I'm good at quizzes, just like Koba. Or are you looking down on me too? But Baraka, you're not alone in the team. You're together with Tabasamo and I. You're saying you know all the quizzes. What about us? Don't worry, guys. You don't have to answer anything. I'll answer all the questions. You'll just take the medals. You'll answer all the questions? That's not fair. Let's ask Tabasamo what she thinks, because I don't think you're right. Let me write it all down for Tabasamo. See Baraka? Tabasamo says that's not what team is meant to be. Team means working together towards one specific goal. Team means being connected and connectedness is Utu. Alright, let's say I do agree. How are we going to practice? We, we should look, should for, look questions. for questions. Yes, that's a great idea, Tabasamo. We already know the quizzes about the African continent. I think it's best to practice by answering as many questions as we can about the African continent. Yeah. We will find the questions on this computer. We will just go online and search quiz about the African continent. Let me show you. Did you see that? I clicked on this box and typed questions about the African continent and here they are. Wow! It's cool, right? And you know you can search for anything on the internet. It can be mathematical formulas, science, history and everything. Really? That means you can learn through a computer. You know, all these days I used to think computers were for doing boring office stuff only. Me too, Baraka. 
You see, this platform has lots of videos that you can watch and learn. I even saw teachers teaching stuff we learn in school. Wow, amazing! I know, right? So, let's get started. Whoa, what just happened? The computer went off. I don't know. And look at the light bulb up there. It's blinking. Huh? Nina, look. Now it's completely off. I don't know, Tabasamu. Maybe it's an electricity problem. Let me go call my aunt. I checked and found a problem. But you're going to need a technician from Kokotoa Electric Authority to fix it. Because it seems like the fault is on the electric pole and not inside the house. Oh, thank you. Okay, bye. Okay, let me walk you out. You heard what the electrician said. Now what? There is no power here. And computers can't work without power. And to be honest, after seeing those hard questions online, I believe we must practice if we want to win medals. How are we going to practice? I, uh, I don't know what to do either. Let me write for Tabasamu. She might have an idea. Where are you going, Tabasamu? You are touching the TV. Do you mean we should learn through TV? TV? How can we use a TV to learn? Let's go home. I will show you how. Oh, we should come with you to your house? Okay. Wow, I'm gonna be a super genius today from all these learnings. Nina taught us how to learn through a computer and now Tabasamu wants to take us to her house to show us how to learn through a TV. Hopefully there's electricity there. Let's go. I'm sure it's gonna be fun. Yeah, because TVs are full of fun programs like movies, cartoons. I think learning through TV could be fun too. Welcome kids. Thank you, Thank Mama, you Tabasamu. Mama Tabasamu. You want to watch TV? I'm very sorry kids. You can't watch TV. There's no power here. No power? There's no power at our house too. What's going on in Kokotoa? There's a power cut all over Kokotoa and they announced that it will be fixed after five days. Five days? How am I going to win the medal? There are only three days left before the competition. Hello, Mama Tabasam. Oh, welcome, Mama Tech. How are you, kids? We're fine, Mama Tech. No, we're not fine, Mama Tech. Why? What's wrong, Baraka? We can't win medals. Medals? What medals? Medals for a quiz contest, Mama Tech. We've registered for a contest, and we started to practice for it by using Nina's computer. But suddenly, the power went off. And then, Tabasamu told us that there is a TV show that she uses to learn. So we decided to come here to watch the show. But we can't do that because there is a power cut here too. That means we can't practice. I will never win the medal. Oh, well done kids. I'm happy to see you're using ICT to learn. We didn't use ICT, Mama Tech. We used a computer and we are here to use a TV. <laughs> That's what ICT means, Baraka. ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology. It's technology that's used to communicate and spread information using devices such as computers, telephone, TV, and radio. Ooh, so because we started to learn through a computer, then we came here to use a TV, that means we were learning using ICT. Is that it, Mama Tech? You're correct, Nina. Now, let me ask you, what steps did you follow when you were learning using a computer? We followed no steps, Mama Tech. Nina just turned her computer on and we started to learn. Oh, let me ask you another question then. Do you know the steps for learning through ICT? We don't know, Mama Tech. Okay, so from now on, I want you to know that there are five steps for learning through ICT. Let me show you a video on my phone that teaches the steps. TV and these are my friends a radio a computer and a phone and together we are called ICT which stands for information and communication technology and today we are going to give you five steps of learning through ICT 
Let's go. to tell me here we go one two step one read and listen to what is being taught okay step two write down what is being taught okay step three follow and enjoy what is being taught that's right step four discuss if you are with others step five work on what you have learned good job kids Thank you, Mama Tech. We didn't know that what we were doing was learning through ICT. We want to learn through radio, Mama Tech. How can we know the schedule for the radio programs? Let me check on my phone for you. Here it is. There's a radio program that will start in the next 10 minutes. I have a radio here. You can use it, kids. Thank you, Mama Tabasamu. Welcome, kid or kids, if you are with your friends. In today's program, we won't have a science or mathematics class because we are heading towards a quiz contest. That means we will have a special program where we'll ask various questions and some of those questions will be asked in the competition. Do you remember the steps for learning through ICT that Mama Tech told us? We are now doing step number one, which is to listen or watch or read. And because we're using the radio, that means we are listening. Now, let's jump to the questions. The first question is, how many countries are in the African continent? Let me write that down. Tabasamu, I just noted down the question. Take this notebook and read it. And this is step number two of learning through ICT, which is taking notes. Kids, let's repeat the question together. How many countries are in the African continent? How, How many, many countries, countries are in the African, African continent? continent? And this is step number three of learning through ICT. Enjoy the learning and interact. Hmm, that's a tough question. I'm not sure about the answer. I think the answer is 56. Or... Or what do you think, Tabasamu? You've raised your five fingers on one hand and two on the other. So you mean 52? Mm. Tabasamu, I'm not sure your answer is correct. What's yours, Baraka? I'm with Tabasamu. There are 52 countries in the African continent. And to remind you, now we're in step number four of learning through ICT, which is discussing. Kids, the answer is 54. Oh, we, we got, got it wrong. wrong. Wow. If we keep listening to this program every day, we will be untouchable on the quiz and other subjects. It's true, Nina. And that will be step number five of learning through ICT, which is implementation. The day we've been all waiting for is finally here. One welcome to our fantastic quiz contestants. As you see, on your right side are Team A members, Baraka, Nina, and Tabasamu. And standing on your left are the members of Team B, Enika, Muga, and Gedere! And now, let's jump straight to our game called Guess the Country, where we will show a photo of a very famous place in Africa 
or a photo of a very famous leader from Africa right there on our screen. And our participants here need to tell us which country that place or that African leader is from. But before a participant gives us an answer, you must click that big red button on your podium and then you'll hear the two sound or T sound and they'll give you a chance to answer. The first team to click the button will be the first team to answer. Now, let the game begin. Let's take a look at the first photo. This is a photo of the highest mountain in Africa. It's called Mount Kilimanjaro. In which African country is this mountain found? That mountain is located in Tanzania. Correct! Team A leads by one. And now, off we go to question number two. This is a photo of Nelson Mandela, who was the first black president of a certain country from Africa. What is the name of that country? The name of the country is South Africa. Correct! So now, Team A has one point and Team B has one point. Now let's go to the third and last question of the game. This is an image of a huge rock called Zuma Rock. The Zuma rock is very famous because it looks like it has a human face on its surface with the visible mouth, eyes and nose. In which African country is Zuma rock located? Whoa! Team B is on a roll! What's the answer, Team B? Zuma rock is located in Uganda. They got it wrong! Team A, go ahead. Zuma rock is in Nigeria. Are you sure, kids? Yes. Correct! Team A 